Hello, everyone. This is Steve Kramer, one of the co-chairs of the Entrepreneurship and Libraries Conference International. I'm pleased today that we get to interview Dr. Laylee Safi, who is one of our core planning group members. As you may know, she has been interviewing other people for the last few weeks or maybe over a month. And I'm so happy that now we get to interview her. Uh, she has been serving as our chair of the marketing committee and also contributing to the success of this program in many other ways. So I'm pleased to be interviewing Dr. Laylee today. Dr. Laylee, please introduce yourself to us. Uh, thank you so much, Steve. Uh, it's my pleasure and thanks, uh, thanks to you and the whole team for inviting me uh, today for interview. I'm Leili Seyfi, Associate Professor at the University of Birja. Uh, before joining to, to the university, I was working also at the National Library of Iran for more than uh, five years. And my research area is uh, uh, about uh, digital uh, preservation and indigenous knowledge management and also public libraries studies. Yes. Good, thank you. Given your your background, how have you gotten involved with entrepreneurship? Um, you know, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, uh, my first experience was like uh, I was uh, supervising uh, three thesis student uh, uh, student thesis. So the, during the, those projects, uh, we used to uh, visit public libraries. It was like uh, entrepreneurship on public libraries and uh, we used to visit the public libraries and investigate that how public libraries are providing services uh, regard, with regards to entrepreneurship uh, to the community. Um, then uh, after uh, completing this project, I also decided um, to visit some rural public libraries in Iran and mm. to see how uh, they are involving with uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, and uh, I got really very good experience from our uh, public librarians, I mean, uh, rural public librarians during the, those visit, visits. And uh, now, uh, as you mentioned, I'm on a very good uh, uh, planning team uh, uh, on um, <laughs> international conference on uh, entrepreneurship and libraries. Uh, this is a very great opportunity to me to get involved and to know about uh, uh, entrepreneurship librarians. Mm, good, thank you. And as you know, one goal of our conference and our engagement beyond the conference is learning from each other, how we, we support entrepreneurship in different ways in different places. So uh, you mentioned working with rural libraries, for example. Uh, could you tell us um, summarize for us, if possible, how library libraries in Iran are supporting entrepreneurship. What are they doing now to support entrepreneurs? Uh, yes, uh, this is very uh, interesting question. Uh, you know, in Iran, uh, what I noticed from like um, international libraries that they they do have a position on entrepreneurship librarian but we, in mm. iran our libraries uh, do not have entrepreneurship librarian position so far and uh, which is which it means that uh, they um, they have they do not have any uh, mission or strategies uh, like for supporting entrepreneurship in iran but when it comes to uh, librarians, our like especially our public librarians that mm -hmm. I mentioned that uh, during my visit, uh, you know they are really doing uh, by themselves based on their interests, interests uh, very creative works um, with regards to uh, entrepreneurship and like providing uh, especially like rural public library in rural community, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it was my experience that I really like uh, uh, observed by myself during my visit that our uh, rural public librarians like helped for running small businesses for uh, women, rural women in the, mm -hmm. the like rural by by uh, conducting workshops and you know uh, inviting like successful uh, entrepreneurs, like women entrepreneurs especially and. Uh, uh, like promoting their work through their like library portal portals and so something like that they they were doing by themselves 
uh, but uh, but coming to the point of like a library entrepreneurship librarian position we do not have yet i hope mm. we also like you know if it comes like strategical so it means that we can uh, um, provide much more services in a uh, disciplinary manner interesting thank you you know a part of our connections we're building is learning i mentioned learning from each other but also i think we're learning how we're often similar so like in the united states um, the larger urban public libraries you know in the big cities often have an entrepreneurship or a business librarian or a nonprofit's librarian that's sometimes put together into one person to one position but like what you're describing in iran lately a lot of smaller rural libraries in the united states do not have entrepreneurship librarian and may not even have a business librarian in general as a broader category so but and yet still have needs to support entrepreneurs including women entrepreneurs because uh, in some of our cities it seems that the majority of the entrepreneurs are women um which is a so in some ways i think we're similar in that regard so that's hopefully we will keep learning from each other how we can help these small libraries in rural places and urge small towns uh, that don't have and won't have a specialized entrepreneurship library right they don't have enough staffing and yet they need to they want to support these women and people in general who are pursuing creating jobs and creating organizations and, and nonprofits and companies so i think that's a similarity there okay well, Lili, as I mentioned, exactly. one one wonderful value you've been adding to the Entrepreneurship Libraries Conference is your existing network, because you know people, uh, it sounds like, across the world, I think, who are entrepreneurship librarians or doing related work. Um, given that you already have international network and you had one before we started this process, how, how did you recruit and grow your own network of entrepreneurship librarians that you'd work with talk, and talk to across the country and across the world? Yeah, yeah, this is also uh, one interesting question. You know, uh, when it comes to growing my networks, uh, I would say, first of all, uh, doing voluntary works, uh, voluntary activities, <laughs> like, you know, really helped me. And uh, uh, also, like, you know, uh, organizing some uh, uh, international conference. Uh, for my first experience uh, when I organized interna first international conference uh, in Iran on um, design and development of public library services, this conference really helped me uh, for growing my uh, international professional network. Uh, so after uh, this conference, also I, I involved another uh, international conference on uh, Middle East Librarian Association conference as a planning team. So I would say this conference also helped me like for growing mm. my uh, professional network. And uh, finally, now I'm uh, on a planning team of um, the international conference on entrepreneurship and libraries, which really I would say, Steve, this was a really great opportunity for me because, you know, uh, before this conference, I didn't know, and even I didn't know that like a, we have around the world this much like entrepreneurship uh, uh, librarian and business librarians uh, and now i i would say that i have a big big uh, network where, like from entrepreneurship mm -hmm. like which i'm really happy for this so uh, i can say that you know doing like this this kind of voluntary activities and like uh, becoming uh, in the like on the uh, planning teams uh, as an international events really help help in person uh, to to grow the networks good good thank you and let's add that it was your idea your excellent idea to create a linkedin group for people interested in this conference and that may be the focal point for networking and communicating and helping each other in the future so um, LinkedIn now emerging as a tool we're using that seems to work pretty well in most countries, not every country maybe, um, to get people connected on this topic. So we, that was your idea. So thank you for that as well. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I must add also, you know, uh, to this uh, LinkedIn page, yes, uh, LinkedIn page uh, also helped me really like for promoting and marketing uh, people and the voice of conference around the world, it always helped me for, for my uh, international events or like when I want to promote it, it's, it's really good platform, I would say. 
as you mentioned, it's uh, working. It is working in most countries. It's not too terrible, something like that. Okay. Good. Thank you. Our last question, Lily, and you've already addressed some of this, so thank you. But is there any additional? Do you have any additional hopes or goals for the Entrepreneurship and Libraries Conference International? What What else do you hope this this conference and the ongoing connections will accomplish for entrepreneurship librarians around the world? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I hope uh, and I'm pretty sure that this conference will be like uh, actually the common platform like for sharing, learning and, you know, uh, promoting like uh, uh, innovative ideas and thoughts of like entrepreneurship mm. librarians around the world. So, but also it can uh, like establish, uh, uh, as I mentioned, maybe in my previous um, uh, uh, explanation, uh, uh, it, it can establish an active network of like uh, entrepreneurship librarians around the world. Also, uh, it can uh, help uh, to transfer knowledge and live experience of like, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the entrepreneurship librarians around the world. And finally, I would say, uh, this conference, like you know, it's the, uh, the something really like strengthening to like you know, uh, to people's uh, professional uh, resources base, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, because uh, as you know, as we know that this conference have many professional uh, on planning team uh, plus like many. Uh, professional uh, on this topic will be joining uh, us uh, and they, they, they are going to share their, their um, experiences, their, their uh, innovative ideas. So uh, I would say this will be really great uh, a platform for strengthening uh, 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 ones for like people's professional resource base as well. And um, I, I would like really to thank uh, for the uh, for coaches for planning this, this great opportunity for uh, our professional around the globe. Well, we could not have done it without you, Laylee, and the other international planning team members. So thank you, all of you, for making this happen. Laylee, thank you very much. Um, we look forward to seeing you in November and beyond. And congratulations on your success with your work you're doing. And thank you for spending your time today with me recording this interview. Thank you so much for your time and it's my pleasure. Thank you too.